Meditation is the land. Meditation is the simplest art. It teaches you how to be silent. Meditation is non-doing. Then how can it be difficult? Yet people still find it difficult to attain. This is the way of laziness to attain enlightenment. You don't do anything to attain to this state. This inward silence or enlightenment is your intrinsic nature. You have it in a seat form. It only requires the right environment and process. When you look within, you realize you are the beauty, the silence, the ecstasy and the blissfulness. You need to be kind to yourself. Just sit silent. Do nothing either physically or mentally. Just sit silently. Remember grass grows by itself. You can do things. You can cook. You can fix the car. All this involves doing. But relaxation is a non-doing process. You will definitely find it difficult in the beginning because your whole gestalt is that of the outer world, the dimension of doing. By nature you are addicted to doing. This will take time to vanish in me and for you to move to the dimension of non-doing. Just be, relax and watch. This being is not doing. Sit silently, doing nothing. Witness whatsoever happens. Thoughts will float in the mind. The body will feel tension. Be on the hill, a watcher of all that is happening in the valley. This is now. This is your nature. This is meditation. This is the ultimate flowering. Meditation is not just science or art. It is either both or none. In fact, meditation is a nap. Old habits continue to play their parts. Thoughts continue in the rush hour. Your body is not accustomed to sit silently. You can remain the whole night dancing and partying without a blink. But when you are asked to sit silently, you feel uncomfortable. The mind's wavelength reaches below four and you begin to fall asleep. You will remain tossing and turning. The mind is whirling in thoughts, both consistent and inconsistent, dreams and fantasies. But you remain at the center, witnessing the entire process. All the religions of the world teach doing. You are asked to stop the mind or force the body in a still posture. And when you force the body, when you force the body cannot be still. All prayers, concentrations, singing, etc belong to the domain of doing. You cannot force silence. It will then be false. When a stillness comes on its own, silence descends on its own accord. In the moments of witnessing, thoughts disappear and silence dawns. It has its own beauty. You do not consider thoughts as your own. No judgment. Whether a particular thought is good or bad or should be or should not be there. You are the watcher without prejudice or judgment. Your being becomes a mirror. A mirror simply reflects without any judgment. This state of mirroring everything, both within and without, is meditation. Remember, this state of mirroring everything, 
without any preach to us, without any judgment, both within and without his meditation. Once you continue, this will happen to you. I can speak on my own authority. It happened to me. It happened to Buddha. It happened to Jesus, Lao Tse, Jarathruth and many other masters. Maybe a few days may pass or a few years as well, but certainly it will happen to you one day. You continue to remain a witness. It may take time, which will depend on each individual. You can be a doer and a witness at the same time. You can eat, walk, sleep, talk, etc. and yet be a witness to all this. You can move your hand unconsciously or as a habit or move it with full awareness. There is quantitative difference. When you move it unconsciously, it is mechanical. And when you move the hand full of awareness, then there is a certain grace. Even your hand will feel the silence within. What to say of the mind? Constant watching leads to disappearance of thought process ultimately. Mind is doing. All religions teach doing. Be a watcher without any judgment. And this is meditation. When meditation begins to happen, it brings inner clarity. When meditation happens or you understand what in fact meditation is, tremendous clarity comes. Otherwise you can go on stumbling in dark for long. Beyond mind, meditation is the vision of clarity. Mind is confusion, mind is noise. Thoughts are the content of the mind. Create dark clouds around you. Subtle dark clouds. In the midst of confusion, clarity is lost. When thoughts disappear, clouds are no more. You are in the state of beingness. Clarity happens. You can see far beyond the mist of clouds to the other end of the existence. With meditation happening, you gain a penetrating gaze, a gaze that reaches to the very core of your being. Meditation is ultimate clarity. Nothing can be thought about it, only an experience and that is all. Then it brings utter emptiness, for Eon's inner happiness has been condemned. Emptiness is unique. Emptiness is a beauty. Imagine foolish who continues to propagate that an empty mind acts as a devil's solution. Remember an empty mind is the mystery of the unknown. It is the voksha of God. An occupied mind is the devil's voksha. For your mind to be God's voksha requires a a truly empty state. Just being lazy and not doing anything implies that you are empty while millions of thoughts go on breathing within. You may remain lazy outwardly but inwardly much is going on. Many prisons, many boundaries are being created as something new. This inner emptiness is your nature. Emptiness leads to freedom. Sometimes when you are on the seashore or seeing the sun setting or you can be under the full moonlight, you forget all desire, lust, etc. The moments are so overwhelming. 
the past vanishes future is no more only this very moment remains the present moment is part of eternity in this moment all distinctions of the observer observed and the observation dissolve into one another the observer is the observed you are not separate from the sunset or moonlight or the ocean suddenly you are a bridge in such a communion a new dawn appears a new clarity comes in as things clear joy springs forth but you are now in a black hole this happens in the process of transformation when you come into the state of clearing you need courage to remain in the empty sky osho calls this as sanyas it takes a lot of courage to enter into this state it means you are fed up with the old pattern of life you are ready to take a jump into the unknown realm you do not want to escape instead you are now in the clearing you can see the vast sky unclouded you can listen to the songs of the birds you are now attuning more and more with the emptiness and bliss of this state in one way it is emptiness but in another way it is full of something that which is subtle something you were never aware of before something you had never tasted before as a result in the first instance it appears to be empty in the end you realize its fullness full of peace full of eternity full of light full of silence a dancing silence